Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Jim Liu, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How are you guys doing this evening? I'm doing well, man. I just got emotional all of a sudden thinking about <laughs> you guys in Vegas and somehow Drew Estate, too. Yeah. I, I, uh, I definitely miss hanging out with you guys and drinking and smoking and just having a good time. I disagree. This is a good. This is a good powwow. This is a good powwow session. I feel like it is. It is. I think they get to see the real us. That's right. That's true. Dude, I miss you, June. I haven't seen you in forever, man. I, really I didn't did. see you guys last year. I know. That's that's know, what makes this forever. so much harder. Yeah. I know. And I, it, 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 it messes up my mind because I went to TPE with Aaron. Uh, yeah. But. I have to remember. So like, you got to see the industry people, but you missed John and Seth. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, I mean, and, and, the fun part, right? Well, we all yeah. get together and. And, and, and I figured I figured I was going to see you in Denver, so you know, it wouldn't be that big of a yeah. deal. But then, yeah. And we were going to see Fuck, Seth man. in July, we, and that we never materialized. Yeah. yeah, it's like just a mess. Wow. All just right. Keep on rocking in the free world. Speaking of all that, we are talking about the Moy Ruiz La Jugada Habano Semi Press Toro. Uh, it's going to go probably on the top of the list for longest cigar names of the year. Uh, cigar is a Toro Extra, 6.5 by 52. Comes out of the Zona factory in Nicaragua. Name council approves. All right. Uh, rappers Ecuadorian Habano, Binder and Filler, both from Nicaragua. Blended by Hector Alfonso. Uh, price point is $9.50. This cigar was released in August of 2020. So with all the info, info out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like yeah, with this cigar? Hector blended this? No. Well, I don't know, I don't man. Know. I think Hector could blend better than this. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought it was pure average and uh, just very one-sided, you know, spice and earth, uh, baking spice, cedar, oak bitterness. Uh, and my burn was just absolutely horrendous. Like, I feel like every time I relit it and to take my, to take the draw after I relit it, uh, it went out on me. So I, I lost count of how many times I had a relight. There was like, you know, there was tunneling, there was everything. But in terms of like the pre-light experience, there was nothing, you know, wrong in that sense, right? Like there, the cigar wasn't too spongy, the cigar wasn't too hard. Like, I don't know what it is, uh, leaf placement apparently. So, um, and that might have something to do with the actual flavors that I gave off, uh, but Man, I just for such a big smoke, it's such a like mundane, average smoke. All right, Seth, what were your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> you know, we've done this long enough. We we know how a lot of brands produce cigars, and you know what comes out of a factory. So you know when you start lighting it up, you know typically where it's going to go. You have an idea of where it's going to go, and that's the case for, you know, La Zona. It's the case for Aganorsa, etc. Yeah. Right when lighting the cigar up, I knew this cigar was going to be what it is right then, and it wasn't going to go anywhere. It just didn't. It didn't deliver anything. It just it delivered a lot of black and red pepper. There's dry earth, grass, herbal mineral notes. It was, it was rough. wasn't a big fan of it, but at the same time, I liked it because it was rough. So I don't know. What about you, John? Uh, burn did not affect my performance, June, and I would certainly describe the profile as linear. I mean, it was pleasant, but it was pretty linear. There was just not a lot of layers of complexity here. Uh, I get what Seth is saying about the roughness. Um, just because the, the different flavors that came through were kind of jarring, like they didn't really transition and they didn't really layer. Um, so, you know, one moment you get a lot of dryness and then the next moment you get cocoa and then the next moment you get wood. And they never really came together. It, you know, it wasn't it wasn't bad. Um, I would probably smoke one of these, you know, if I was watching a football game and wanted to pick me up. But, you know, in terms of reaching for one of these because I'm looking for something that elevates the brand, I just don't think this is it. I think La Jugada is they they put out better better releases than this. Um, I had a decent uh, burn. I had one relight required um, at the halfway point. Weirdly, what kind of mid draw just spontaneously went out which is odd uh but the draw was perfect um so yeah pretty pretty linear aaron yeah i mean with how bad the burn was that i had i was a bit surprised that it was able to kind of carve out a serviceable serviceable uh flavor profile from it um you know, the first third was good um had a nice enjoyable flavor combination but it kind of dropped down in each third as the burn issues just kind of took their toll on it um, I was hoping that you guys were going to be able to have, you know, better burns kind of report on what 
the cigar would provide. But um, I don't know. I mean, it seems like even with the, a good burn, it was still a fairly average flavor profile. So um, I, I was kind of curious about going back to this to see if I got, you know, a, a well-constructed version, if it would taste better. But it doesn't seem like that's necessarily the case based on what, how, you, how you guys felt. So um, – I don't know. Jury's out if I'd come back to this or not to do it. I mean, if it was if it burned like this, like what I had was it almost every draw just seemed like it wanted to go out. So I would like take take a few draws to get like full smoke Same production, here. and then it was just like. Okay, do you remember? Do you remember I was messaging you the other night, and I was saying you ever smoke a cigar where it feels like the cigar just wants to go out? <laughs> yeah. So this is what I was smoking at the time. I managed to keep it burning. But I will echo what you're saying. It it absolutely felt like at any moment the cigar really wanted to go out, and I don't know why that was. But yeah, it's like you had it's like you had to keep on smoking it, but it wasn't smoking fast by doing that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Was, that's exactly Crazy. right. Yeah. Yeah. We should have a new rule in our scoring where if the cigar goes out more than like three, four times during the time, let's just say let's just disqualify it. June, you're going to disqualify. What, what would the fun be in that? <laughs> <laughs> disqualify. Yeah, yeah, disqualify. Second, third, disqualified. Sorry, guys. I actually, I got to sit out this week. They're all disqualified. Yeah, all we get is, <laughs> why didn't you review our cigar? So, All right, we'll do the scores. Uh, top of the list, John, 5.55. Uh, Steph was next at 5.50. June gave it a 5.25. I gave it a 4.63. So, John, how'd that 5.55 match up for you? Gosh, man. I mean, like I said, I, I like I like Nelson and Danny. They're really good guys, and I think they put out some pretty cool blends. Um, some of which are June's favorite, um, but this is 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 definitely not one of them. And I think you know when you when you see a high mark of five five, that is you know pretty compelling. Like I said, you know, uh, it's just it's linear. It just um, yeah, it just didn't do anything for me, unfortunately. All right, Seth, 5.5. Yeah, it's, John, you said it. Halfway through this, halfway through the cigar, I looked down at the band. I'm like, wow, these are the guys that did the, uh, the finger trap. Racist so on. good. And I'm like, and I'm Racist. Like, Jim. But, Racist. But tasty. Like, Racist. But I was like, just like, like Uncle So's chicken. And then they did Denmark. Like, Racist. <laughs> I like that one, and too. And then they did, uh, what the fuck else did they do? Chopsticks? Anyways, Ch- they, no, uh, the uh, nunchucks. <laughs> nunchucks. Nunchucks. And they did the nunchucks. Nunchucks. And the hand and gripper. Went, June, and then they went after you again for the hand gripper because you're that power <laughs> lifter guy. You know you're the office hand gripper. So it was just, it was it was flat. It was linear. It didn't do anything the entire way. For, it's, for the price, I don't think LaRange is, I think LaRange is only like 25 cents more expensive than this. Oh, really? LaRange is under 10 bucks. Just go buy a LaRange. That's a good point. It's. I'm sorry. I, I know, Aaron. I, you're probably like, guys, why do you have to say this and get recaps? But if you ever hear me say you need to tone it down, <laughs> there's a problem. I know, man. <laughs> this is true. For crying out loud, you guys fucking. I, we should have re-recorded the the uh, ML. I liked. I liked the soft press. I mean, it was. Sure. Soft it was press. a cool. It was a cool presentation. Was, there's no question. Press. It was pretty slick in the cigar. I like. I really liked the presentation. Um, I wish Aaron would have had a better burn because it would have been interesting to see, you know, overall what the flavor performance would have been if the burn would have been, you know, near perfect. Yeah, same for June. I mean, uh, same for me. I had yeah. worse than him. I had yeah. it worse than Aaron. No, no, I had it worse. Oh, I scored it. Bad. Oh. I scored it. I gave it zero points for burn. So. Oh, oh shit! Oh, wow, how many relates is that? Like five? Uh, I did at least five. Let me see. I, oh, I Let's see if I yeah, noted it in my burns. Uh, so I had, uh, had three relights, one in each third. Um, oh, was a huge shit. New, uh, that, that'd be a I gotta, poor I gotta change my score then. Can you, can you downgrade my score? <laughs> the three, three, the second, three third, would be a poor. And it was just like, like I said, every draw, I had to take multiple draws to get like what I felt was like a normal, uh, draw an acceptable amount smoke. of smoke. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, what's crazy guys. If you look at like the year of the rap background behind Aaron, like, I know it's tobacco leaves, but it looks like a cigarette apocalyptic. Oh, like atmosphere. Oh, the, and then you have this rat yeah. with the goggles. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out thing. So trippy. Yeah. Seth had to come before we started doing videos. All right, uh, <laughs> June five and a quarter. See? Yeah, five and a quarter. Oh, okay. Um, 
average disappointing honestly um i don't believe hector blended this he's a better blender <laughs> than this uh, my 4.63 matches up well. Uh, overall, it was an average flavor profile. Um, just that burn was just horrible. And that, uh, you know, typically when I have an average flavor profile, my overall score ends up being average. But when that burn is that bad and it's just like um, I'm babysitting it, it kind of takes its toll there. So, uh, yeah, not good. Uh, final thoughts on this cigar from you guys? I don't think we should we should blame Hector on this, even if he did have to blend it. And sure. the reason yeah. for that I is mean, sometimes blamed, the, you know. the chef has to make the meal for the person who's ordering it. Yeah, and if the yeah. person just enjoys Hungry Man TV frozen dinners, I was you gotta steak, give baby. Him Hungry Man. Listen, yeah, listen. I was reading this in Obama's new book. Do you know how he likes his steaks? Oh, Obama. don't but, say it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Obama? Me, no, medium well. And I'm reading this. That's legit. Oh. Imagine, no, That's fine. no, oh. no, that is not legit. Shut up, June. Anyways, no. listen, I don't personally enjoy here. my steak. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, friends Aaron, off. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, how do you like your steaks? Uh, like medium rare or medium, depending on okay. who's medium rare or medium. So either way, these are top chefs probably that yeah. he comes across, and here they are. Like, man, I got to burn this fucking piece of meat for the yep, president. Exactly. States. That I don't care, John. It's, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, don't know, I like my chicken medium rare. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure Sam and Ellie cooks and, it for and your it pork. Too. <laughs> yeah, I think I like my poops medium rare as well. All right, so I guess I'm going to talk about the cigar actually. So I found it interesting with this cigar and another cigar that comes out of La Zona about the size. When this was actually when the press release went out for this cigar, it was uh, labeled as a six inch cigar. So when I right. got this cigar. Oh, that's right. That's right. So when I got this cigar, I measured the third so that I know exactly where I'm transitioning right so i'm like yeah this is not a six inch cigar uh because the thing i love about six inch cigars is that it's really easy to find the thirds two inches two inches two inches like that's it yeah so i'm like all right so sometimes what happens is you get like they make like these test blends and like a different size or whatever like for whatever reason that they're oh, doing yeah. i'm like please don't tell me you sent me you know something that's not production and so we can't review it or whatever it is but uh so i message you and they like, no it's that's the right size so i'm like all right, I maybe they messed up, whatever it was. But then when the whole this whole new uh, Warzone short Churchill thing came about, they made the same mistake. So the reported size is different than the actual size. I'm wondering, like, uh. is there some communication issues? Like, they don't know the actual sizes that it's coming out of the factory at, and the yeah, guys at the factory just make whatever size the fuck they want. <laughs> like, yeah, it's because there's, the there's nobody down supervisor. There's nobody yeah, there's no down supervisors. Oh, the supervisors in Miami. Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to get into that into in the uh, end of the year recap, yeah. but I think you're going to see a hell of a lot more of that in 2021. I think it's yeah. going to be worse. It's going to be worse next year. Oh. Huh. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. If you it, well, we'll we'll get into it offline, but I got more to say on that. I'll say it online. I right? have something to say yeah. offline too about the cigar. <laughs> <laughs> the worst review ever. We're gonna say everything. Sorry, online. sorry, Nelson. Sorry, Danny. Love you guys. No, no. It's yeah. I no. I I, I like those guys a lot. Uh, Super really nice cool. guys. Yeah. You know, so I I got an idea. Should we do a Patreon version where we do the offline thing, but you have to pay yeah, to hear we it? Would. We will get scolded like fucking crazy <laughs> from the industry. I mean, you know, it'd be no nice way. to get some ducats. We gotta get up, keep the lights on. Yeah, I think if we do it, we need to like then. We would not be allowed into, at PC booths at all. No, we need to turn it into like a live where they can join. Where the oh yeah, can oh join. man, but not. But listen, but we we never invite the ma manufacturers or brand owners. This sure. is just for the consumer, so they can hear the manufacturers the and brand owners from other brands can join. Not yes. of the specific because they need to hear the truth. <laughs> yeah, this is a circle of trust. Yeah, and that's what it'll always be, and no yeah. one will know, and it'll spread. There we should go. do OnlyFans too. All right, we ready only to wrap this up? Idea. That is, <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans. All right, <laughs> and I'm not talking about the OnlyFans you're thinking about. <laughs> If you're just catching right. the video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. But we'll also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one.